Welcome to Chatterton Helping Hands. In this edition, we'll be focusing on how to use a thermometer. There are two sides to the thermometer, the Fahrenheit side and the Celsius side. In science, we generally use the Celsius side. In this case, the thermometers only have a Celsius side. Now I can tell by the C located on the thermometer. Now, each tick mark represents one degree Celsius. So if I start here at 70, tick up above 71, 72, 73, and so on. To use a thermometer, you place it in a liquid for at least a minute or you see the liquid inside the thermometer stop moving. I have hot water here and I have cold water here. Let's take a look of how to measure the hot water first. Sometimes it is easier to put your hold your thermometer straight up but when taking a look at your thermometer, make sure that you only touch the top of the thermometer. Because if you touch anywhere else, your body heat is going to change the temperature of your thermometer, especially if you touch down here where the bulb is located. So you always want to keep your hand up here when picking up the thermometer. Now I take a look at my thermometer and I see here that it is a couple tick marks above the 40. And if I look, it looks like it's about 46 degrees Celsius. Let's take a look at the cold water. Now this is a little confusing. Over here I have the zero mark. So this means it's below zero. So I'm going to count how many ticks. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five degrees below zero or negative five degrees Celsius. When using the thermometer, make sure you're always very careful because these are glass and they easily break. So in conclusion, that is how you use a thermometer.